So Chantal, AT&T has gotten bold. New year, new attitude, new data plan. Uh, do they think the American consumer has gotten richer, that they can charge more? Well, that's, that's, it's going to be interesting to see if, in fact, the American consumer is willing to pay more. They are getting more data um, with the plans, so the actual um, cost per byte is lower, but um, it's, it's not clear if consumers are going to actually understand and grasp that. They are still continuing to struggle to figure out how, um, you know, what they're doing in mobile, how they're consuming data translates to what, the, what they're paying. Um, so, I mean, this is a bold move by AT&T to position itself at the higher end, um, but there's, you know, certainly a, a growing competition from, um, from the lower end, and consumers are price conscious these days, so it'll be interesting to see. So what are the data packages like? Um, so they're, they're offering, um, it's like $30 for 300 MB and $50 for 50 GB and um, I, I, can't, I can't remember what the other one is, but yeah. uh, so it's, it's, you know, it is, it is a good amount of data uh, and it addresses the fact that uh, consumers are using more data as they, uh, you know, enjoy services like downloading video and, and, and other sort of data-heavy services, um, you know, the, that's the, the AT&T is addressing that. Yeah, I think you meant the MB and GB, I mean, you have to swap places there, but, uh, you know, this is an interesting point. So what happens to the unlimited data plan then? Well, Sprint still offers an unlimited data plan, but in, in general, um, we seem to be moving away from the unlimited data plans as these carriers struggle with how to address the growing, um, you know, desire for data, mobile data, um, and, and to figure out a way to, to price that um, accurately or to actually to maybe, they're going to probably start to experiment with some ways to underwrite the pricing, um, have, uh, have loyalty programs, um, and, and, and other ways to sort of diversify um, the, the pricing structure. And we're going to see a lot of that over this year um, with carriers experimenting and, and trying to figure out what works for them and what works for consumers. So um, with this particular move, uh, do they give you any indication if you're run over the limit, the data uh, download limit? I mean, how do you know that you've exceeded your limit? They will give you alerts as you get close to, uh, th that lets you know how much data you're using as you sort of go into the, your usage for the month. Um, and then there are options for buying um, additional data. Mm -hmm. It's not very good for video and Google, I guess. No. <laughs> yeah, great. Another bad day for Google?